if we do not make the changes that must be made, then who will? And if we do not make them now, and when? When the next pandemic comes knocking, and it will, we must be ready to answer decisively, collectively, and in a recent statement, the head of the World Health Organization delivered a strong message urging global readiness for the next pandemic, which he believes could be more lethal than COVID-19. Addressing the 76th World Health Assembly, WHO chief emphasized that the conclusion of COVID-19 as a worldwide health emergency does not imply the disappearance of its danger. Furthermore, he underscored the potential of another pathogen emerging, posing a higher risk of widespread devastation. In an interconnected world, the threat of emerging infectious diseases looms larger than ever before. Today, we explore the concept of disease X, a hypothetical pathogen that could unleash a future epidemic. As Louis Pasteur once said, gentlemen, it is the microbes who will have the last word. Those words ring true even today. The first suspected case of disease X was reported in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Disease X represents an unidentified and unforeseen illness that holds the potential to be highly lethal in the future, surpassing even the severity of a pandemic. Last year, health experts in Britain issued a warning to the government about disease X. Reports of various diseases, including poliovirus, monkeypox, Lassa fever, and blood flu, found in sewage samples. And recent years' outbreaks raised a concern about a potentially new and unknown pathogen. The WHO included pathogen X in its list of priority pathogens with the potential to threaten global health security in 2018. Pathogen X can be any type of microorganism, but expert believes the next pandemic is likely to be caused by a virus. Factors such as rapid urbanization, deforestation, intensive agriculture, livestock wearing practices, climate change, and globalization have increased opportunities for animal to human and human to human transmission of diseases on a global scale. This makes the threat of disease X infecting the human population and spreading worldwide greater than ever before. There are an estimated 1.67 million unknown viruses on Earth, and between 6,31,000 and 8,27,000 of them have the potential to infect humans. Currently, scientists only know of 263 viruses that can infect people, meaning that 99.96% of potential pandemic threats are largely unknown. Speculation suggests that the next pandemic similar to Ebola and COVID-19 could be a zoonotic disease, originating from animals and transmitting to humans. Viruses that replicate within the cytoplasm are more associated with spread. RNA viruses, which have high mutability, can evade host defenses and infect various host species. Recent outbreaks of Ebola, Nipah virus, and severe acute respiratory syndromes have highlighted the role of zoonotic transmission from wildlife. To tackle this global challenge, the United States Agency for International Development initiated the PREDIC project. This surveillance program aims to detect and control viruses before they spread to humans, allowing early implementation of management strategies. Experts believe that disease X could evolve in wild or domestic animals and then infect humans. Other sources could include laboratory accidents or even the release of hidden zombie viruses from frozen landscapes as the climate warms adding to the list of disease X sources. There is concern among experts about the possibility of an engineered pandemic pathogen which could be intentionally created and used for bioterrorism purposes. The WHO's list of priority diseases includes COVID-19, hemorrhagic fever, Ebola virus, Lassa fever, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus, severe acute respiratory syndrome, Nipah, Zika, and others. These diseases are considered significant threats to global health. In a world where disease X is not a matter of it, but when it is crucial that we remain vigilant and prepared. Investing in research, surveillance, and early detection can help us to stay one step ahead of the microbes and protect our global health security. Together, let us stand ready to face the challenges that lie ahead, because in the end, it is our collective efforts that will determine the outcome.